Hi YouTube, Hackers here and today is a practical tutorial. So, I'm completely not organised at the minute but you know the time when you need a nail 3.5 to 3.5 exactly like this one I have here. This orange one, nice, came off the 6 channel on my Hi-Fi. Well you've got one of those and it just, just, just doesn't reach. Thinking, oh, I'm going to have to move everything. Well, not for much longer. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to extend your male RCA to RCA cable. So, what you're going to need is, some of these are optional. You're going to need a soldering iron and some solder. This isn't very good solder. This is the Clark stuff and it's really too thick, but it's fine. You're going to need your two male to male RCA cables. Got one and two. That thing is optional, it just helps your solder because it's got like a magnifying glass on it. You're going to need some wire strippers and you're also going to need some wire cutters. Now, optionally, you don't have to do this, but optionally, you can use her. That's my speaker and a phone to test it once you've done it. So, I'm not using a soldering iron, I'm using this soldering gun. Which is rather quite amazing, because you just like... See how there's a trigger just there? There's not enough light there, is there? See how there's like... A trigger just... I need to get another light fitted. A trigger just there. And you just put that in, that, LED, that light comes on, and then it just solders. Like a gun. So, first of all, we're going to cut the heads of our... RCA wires off. And we're going to strip those back. So, um, so then you've got your that failed slightly. Is the outside negative? It must be negative. So you're going to strip that back, and then when you've got your two wires on the inside, what we're going to do is we're just going to peel that tin foil back. So you've got your negative running down the outside of the wire. We're then going to do the same with the other wire. Now hopefully these are the same core inside. They're not the same thickness, so I'm a bit worried. No, one's a different colour. But it will have to do, I'm afraid. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to solder these two ground wires first, which is the... They both carry the same signal. They both do work on my standard PC audio wire input, so obviously they must work. So I'm going to put that into my tongue. Crocodile clip, whatever you want to call it. My speaker's just died. Even though it's plugged in. Oh right, the um, USB run out. So I'm just twining these around at the minute. I'm just going to strip the others back to save a bit of hassle in a minute. Shut up. Oh, and I'm also going to have to put my fan on as well so it will get a bit noisy because I don't want to um, cover my camera in smoke. No, I don't even know if this is going to work because the two leads are different. So um, that's that stripped back. And then what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to solder the um, the white one first. 
that is the only one that's going to definitely march and I can test it. I still should get a sound. A very low sound, very quiet or very high, but... See, I've only just got to wrap the wire around once or twice, and then it, um, then it sets. So then you're just going to get your solder warmed up. Flux is optional, but I don't find it beneficial personally. Oh, I've just burnt myself. Very hard to do this whilst I'm talking because you kind of get distracted. Um, so if you've not already, check out our other videos and website. There's links. There's a link in the description in the description to our website or oh, it's just friendlyhackers.wix.com slash home even better the smoke goes away from the camera because I was thinking I was like oh, it's just going to blow my camera in everything's going to get covered in smoke and it's just going to stink and it doesn't I'm quite surprised at Now it's time to connect ground. This won't be excellent sound quality, I can tell you that now because of um, the sold interferes and the wires aren't touched perfectly together. Um, it's not going to be perfect, but it's okay for what I want it for. If I was a professional, I wouldn't have done this. I would have just bought a longer lead, but I'm not. melted the wrong wire. I've actually melted the outer plastic core of it. And my mirror's just died. Excellent quality. Not mirror, magnifying glass has just died. Excellent quality there. With it dropping out and not tightening it properly. Now, once that's soldered, as unprofessional as I am, I like to give my products, not products, sold, a decent coating in solder and not a dodgy coat. So this is like so unprofessional. Because I've got like my tools laid out on the bench. I've got the camera sat on top of the vise with the um, gorilla pod. So then once I've sold it, oh that's not worked properly because there's no outer shell but This is so awkward. So if any of you are wondering where I got this kit from, it came from a um, machine mark, I think it was about £21, £22 and it's definitely worth it, I think anyway, because it's got, within it you get this gun, which ordinarily would be about 15 quid, because it's a gun. I'll get the other colours done and then I'll get that done because I've melted the wire quite badly on both sides 
and as I was saying, this kit is about £15 from Machine Mart, and you get, not £15, £20, sorry, from Machine Mart, and you get the, you get the gun, you, you get an actual soldering iron, to do your more delicate solds with, not that this isn't delicate, with your like constant power instead of just on and off. You've got you get a pot of flux, you get a replacement tip, you get a stand for your soldering iron, you get a desolder pump. <coughs> Sorry, it's like hay for you, it's rubbish. And some other bits and bobs. So if you've not already, and I do yak on a bit, um checked out our um last video which was the temperature sensor build. Please do because we're going to do some more stuff to it today. At the minute, me and the um, leader of WCSI, who wishes to remain anonymous, are um, currently looking for our um, portable DVD player that we can run a um, lead off of the pie with. Trying to clear all these little balls off. It should be connected now to. Um, run our pie off of. So I'm going to plug the wire into there. Once they're covered up and there's no static around them it will be better. But oh we've done it. Yay! Proper bass as well. This is DJ Fresh versus DTC with Brown. And my Mafia Proper. quite pleased with that result. I um, I honestly didn't think it was going to work with the different wire colours, but it does. So um, that was Friendly Hackers modify a 3.5 to um, increase your line, your cable length. All I did, it, like I say, is when I bought my speakers at Christmas, I um, got a standard one channel and then I got six channel cable. Got two six channel cables. So I um, just modified those and did awesome stuff. So thanks for watching and be sure to check out our temp sensor build.